News now out of Anderson. The driver arrested after a crash that left five people hurt makes his first court appearance. 7 News' is Jennifer Martin was there and has the latest. A municipal judge granted Robert Tyler Saxon a surety bond of $2,800 for city charges and $25,000 for state charges this morning. And the police chief here in Anderson told me that Saxon was driving a stolen vehicle when he crashed into another car on Tuesday night. His city charges include driving an uninsured vehicle, reckless driving, and receiving stolen goods. State charges are for being a habitual traffic offender, hit and run with great bodily injury, and possession of a stolen vehicle. Now, Chief Stewart explained that they had received multiple calls about a car speeding down Clemson Boulevard around 7 p.m. Tuesday. Witnesses say they saw the driver physically fighting with the female passenger in his car while he was driving erratically. Chief Stewart says Saxon then hit a car with two children inside, got out of the car, and ran away. And one of the children was three years old and was airlifted to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Estimated he was doing 60 to 65 miles an hour down Clemson Boulevard, which that's a very congested area. And if you take that right turn on East North Avenue, I think he just basically hid them. They never saw it coming. And the last time I spoke to Chief Stewart, he told me that although the boy had serious injuries, he is expected to recover. In Anderson, Jennifer Martin, 7 News.